this may look a little strange to you in the garden, but that's the whole point of gardening is to try experimental projects to see if they'll work. What we have here is essentially a low tunnel. I've got two milk crates or storage crates, uh, however you want to term it, that they we found, but you can purchase at your local big box store. So there was no theft involved in this project. I've got a nylon rope running the center with a support post in, in, the, in the center of the, the rope there. And that'll add as the top beam of our low tunnel. Now you can buy low tunnels or create them with using PVC pipes and metal hoops. But we decided to try it this route. We also have black milk containers and a two liter soda bottle that's painted black. Now that will allow warmth to be gathered in those during the daytime and release it at night to keep the tunnel a little warmer. What we'll be planting in this tunnel? Well, we're gonna plant some leaf lettuce on one side of the string and champion radishes on the other. Leaf lettuce will take 50 to 60 days to reach maturity in the traditional sense and the radishes will take about 32 days to to reach maturity so we're going to plant them we're going to put this four mil plastic over top of it and that will hold the, the nylon string will hold that up center so there'll be no touching of greens to the plastic because it's going to get cold so this project total cost now we use this other this mill plastic this four mil plastic for other projects I'm thinking this this was about a four dollar investment uh, when it was all said and done we had the storage crates we had the nylon rope we had the empty containers we just needed the four mil plastic so let's get planting here the way we plant them is just like you would plant them any other way the radishes I'm going to space three inches the lettuce I'm going to space two inches and then we'll cover it up so I've got it planted now we're planning, putting the plastic over and we're just going to hold the sides down with some dirt. Then I'll bring in some fence posts that we used in other portions of the garden to seal the bottom down. Now what you want to keep in mind is it's not zero degrees outside yet. This will keep the soil to a moderate temperature and if it gets hot outside during the daytime, you're going to have to vent this so you'd want to open up one of the ends so you don't roast the plants because it can very easily, if it's 40 degrees outside, it could relatively be 60, 70 degrees inside this tunnel or warmer. So we'll get this uh, all sealed off here. So we've got that side sealed. Before I close this off, I want to give these seeds a, a good drink of some manure tea from manuretea.com. Get them nice and hydrated. Then we'll seal the tunnel off and we'll just have to watch based on how hot it is during the day if we need to vent the ends at night. All right. Now we're growing in these raised berms here and you can see the progression as we are working on that. We got this ideal from Joe Lample's Growing a Greener World on PBS episode 410. That link will be in the show notes below as well as my interview with Joe Lample this past Thursday as the conclusion of my summer series, Gardening, Preserving and Learning, a 25 minute show hangout. So that's there if you want to check that out as well. But uh, that weedless gardening, it's a very beneficial and unique way of gardening that will benefit us very well for the years to come. So we'll get this all sealed off. And the goal is to have fresh lettuce and radishes for Thanksgiving. To see all of our Straight to the Point video series, you can go to our website, which is thewisconsinvegetablegardener.com, and you click on the Straight to the Point icon. Thank you.